Welcome back to the channel everybody and in today's video we are talking about oral minoxidil and oral dutasteride combo for treating male pattern baldness and rochantic alopecia and things you can expect. Before we start with the video as always quick shout out to our sponsor CoFiber. These are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber, get a free sample of your choice and try them out. See if you like them. This combo is more potent than finasteride oral and topical minoxidil. Why? Because oral dutasteride is a more potent version of finasteride. That means that it is will be able to halt your hair loss better and you can rely on it better, especially by cases when finasteride didn't work. People don't seem to respond well, especially like people with predisposition to higher Norwood class. It seems like finasteride may not be enough and in such case dutasteride will be deployed. And the same thing is with minoxidil. If people are not responding to topical minoxidil because they don't have enough sulfur transfer in the scalp that converts the inactive minoxidil topical to the active ingredient, uh, they will be advised oral uh, minoxidil because this is more guaranteed to work as the metabolization occurs in the liver and not in the scalp. So yes, this combo is more guaranteed to work by more people, people who have seen not enough success with finasteride or with topical minoxidil or combining both of those uh, FDA approved therapies, but also it comes with more side effects. Oral minoxidil and oral dutasteride combo comes with more side effects compared to topical minoxidil 5% and uh, oral finasteride 1 milligram. So I can make another video that will be dedicated to the pros and cons of this oral minoxidil and oral dutasteride combo. So if you want me to do this video, make sure you comment below. Personally, I wouldn't start this combo before trying oral finasteride and topical minoxidil for at least 12 months and then based on my response to those medications, I would potentially consider upgrading to dutasteride oral and minoxyl uh, oral as well. So our first case is 22 year old male. He's been using dutasteride 0.5 milligram and minoxyl 5 milligram every day for three and a half months. Uh, plus he added derma rolling. He looks like a Norwood 3 with diffuse thinning on this picture. Uh, and that was two weeks before he started with the oral minoxidil and oral dutasteride therapy. And two months in, we can already see the hair looking a little bit darker. And in his corners, we can already see the new hair sprouting. And at the three and a half months mark, we can already see a way fuller, thicker and darker looking frontal third. And also the corners are starting to fill. So his hairline is starting to fill uh, very nicely and that's just three and a half months. To get like full results from minoxidil you need to wait usually six to eight months and with dutasteride it's even longer. It's usually 12 months or more. So there is still uh, quite a lot of room for improvement. Here we are looking at a five month progress on dutasteride 0.5 milligram and oral minoxidil 2.5 0.5 milligram. Uh, the patient has been also additionally using one millimeter dermarolink and Nizoral shampoo and biotin uh, 2.5 milligram per day. And just in a matter of five months, he was able to almost completely fill his frontal third and regrow it. And also that second third where there is the bridge, as I like to call it, going from left uh, parietal region to the right one. Almost filled by now and the crown is the only thing that is still lagging. Totally awesome response from my point of view. Like this is a response that I have seen uh, easily also on finasteride one milligram additionally with the minoxyl topical 5% and microneedling. But again as I said some people may not respond like that uh, if they're using finasteride one milligram and topical minoxyl 5% and that's usually the next step is to switch to dutasteride in such case and your response will be optimized that way. And if not, you may consider switching also from topical minoxidil onto like oral minoxidil. So here we're looking at the seven month progress on dutasteride 0.5 milligram and five milligram of oral minoxidil. This is the before situation or day five on treatment. And then we are able to see another image 30 uh, days later where there is not much improvement and the lighting is 
uh, slightly different too. If we go further at the day 69, the hair got longer, but we already start seeing some filling in the crown area. And then if you go to the day 96, we can definitely see an improvement already after only 96 days. And then this is the day 130 and on the day 158, there is just a, it's about the same. But here, if you go to day 211, this is an amazing improvement, especially by looking at the crown only. You can notice how the crown area got filled much, much better. Plus the front that already was quite good before, it got even stronger. It looks almost like completely healthy hair, whereas um, the crown looks slightly thinning, but it's still much, much better compared to the before image. It just looks like day and night, especially the crown got so much better. And this is an interesting case because this before situation is already a result of a uh, patient taking tropical minoxidil and oral finasteride for at least a year and it didn't give him the ideal results on the crown as we can see so he switched to oral minoxidil 2.5 milligram and oral dutasteride 0.5 milligram and only after three months he was able to achieve this uh, even if he was initial responder to topical minoxidil and it actually gave him good results. So to me here again the main reason why he was able to respond much better uh, from here to here in three months even if he previously used finasteride was actually the upgrade from finasteride onto dutasteride not necessarily switching from topical minoxidil to uh, oral minoxidil 2.5 milligram. Another amazing improvement it's a five month improvement uh, he's been using oral minoxidil and dutasteride, 0.5 milligram dutasteride every day and oral minoxidil 5 milligram every night. Uh, Dermarolling as well, ketoconazole. And this was the before situation. He's looking like a Norwood 3 to Norwood 4 transition, like the Jude Law type of uh, hairline recession. And then uh, after five months, you can see like bushy, thick, full head of hair. This is amazing response. So here again, if you consider a hair transplant, you're like, okay, I will need at least, you know, 3000 to potentially even 3500 grafts, 3700, depends on how, what you want to, how, how full you want this uh, thing to look. <laughs> but then you just wait five months and you're like, okay, let's chill out. Let's get some medication. And then you come to this and realize you might probably need just 1500 to 2000 grafts or, you know, 2500 at most. So you are definitely saving yourself the grafts in the donor zone. And this is what I call like smart planning before hair transplant. So you try to, you know, observe a response on, on you know, medications that are proven to work and then they help you regrow hair and then there will be less balding and then you will waste less of your grafts for that. It's actually also smart uh, to get eventually a hair transplant for the hairline because even the strongest meds like Dutasteride and oral minoxidil, they may not be so, so successful in the long run uh, in keeping your temples, keeping your hairline. So eventually it's smart to do this with a transplant to set that, you know, transplanted hairline. And then the rest will be more easily kind of kept with uh, medications. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it from me for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And uh, for all of you guys who are interested in my one-on-one -on -one consulting services, check out the link in the video description below where you can learn more about how I can help you one-on-one -on -one avoid all the mistakes when trying to regrow your hair, when trying to find the best hair transplant clinic or doctor, help you avoid all of the pitfalls along the way and make sure that you maximize your hair transplant success. Check out the link below if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, as I already did with 1,900 plus clients and I will be happy to help you out in person and see you in the next video.